EMP stands for electromagnetic pulse and it's a conducted field which has a, a very disruptive influence on all types of electronic material. Electromagnetic pulse, it can be natural, it can be man-made. Um, natural occurrences are things such as solar flares, electrical storms, um, and they basically have a pulse of uh, electricity down a cable, so down the power grid. Uh, for them to be effective, they need a long antenna, which is a power line. Uh, but normal uh, power line uh, protection, circuit breakers come into play, everything is safe, that surge never gets to your equipment. It's contained within the power, uh, the power supply network. EMP can be man-made, and there are various ways of generating man-made uh, EMP. As I said earlier, the first example was from a nuclear de detonation, and that's known as nuclear EMP. Um, where that was perfected and taken up higher into the atmosphere, it's known as high altitude EMP, or EMP. And that's where the detonation takes place, high up in the atmosphere, and it covers a huge area. On a lower level, there are battlefield munitions fired through howitzers that are designed to generate EMP. And going down even further now, there are a number of man-made portable EMP generators. They could be drone-based, they could be uh, based on the back of a vehicle, or even in an airplane, down to um, little devices which are no bigger than a carry-on uh, suitcase because if you are going to design any type of uh, defense against EMP you have to test it and so there are a number of small portable testing units which if they fall into the wrong hands can be very dangerous and very useful if you are a terrorist or if you are uh, an unhappy customer of an organization or you are just bent on causing havoc and chaos. The effects of EMP were first discovered back in the 1960s. Um, the Americans and the Russians at the time were conducting nuclear tests and they discovered um, if they detonated uh, a nuclear weapon high up in the atmosphere, um, the electrons in the atmosphere became excited, they then found their way down to Earth, induced these surges in cabling and took out uh, televisions radios, receiving uh, equipment. And then they came upon the idea that this could be a weaponized threat. So they have developed, and other nations as well, have developed nuclear devices which generate EMP. So that is one. But of course, once they realized it could be weaponized, EMP devices have been developed that uh, can be uh, carried in drones. They can be man portable, they can be vehicle portable, they are pulse, high pulse generators designed to disrupt or even destroy your service and control systems. <music>